how to find cheap flights. What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. This channel focuses on anything related to digital nomad lifestyle, travel, and digital entrepreneurship, so welcome. And today we are going to talk about how you can get really cheap flights. I've been traveling full-time for three and a half years and I just counted. Last year I have done 19 flights, so that's a lot of flights. Oh my God, I've been giving a lot of money to these airports and airlines. But I got tips and tricks to help you book flight cheaply and I'm going to share with you my strategy on how I actually book those flights. So the first thing I do when I book a flight is I go on the incognito mode uh, on my computer. So what this means is basically cookies are tracking everything you're doing on your computer. But if you are using an incognito mode, that means they can't really track what you're up to so the price should not go up so it's very important that you use an incognito window or that you delete all your cookies and start fresh so that's the first thing i do second thing i do is i go on google flight this is my base because it allows me to see days ahead even six months ahead how much the flights will cost after that i will go on and compare it with other platforms and i use specifically Hopper, this is an app you have to download on your phone and you can also find really good deals on Hopper. I actually booked my flight to Mexico with Hopper. And then the other two that I use is Skyscanner. Skyscanner actually scan different flights and they will let you know about the cheapest flight you are looking for. And then the next one that I use as well is Kiwi. I really like Kiwi because it's given you a lot more options. So for example, sometimes you can find a really discounted flight if you change airports. So I highly recommend using Kiwi as well. So those are the platform that I use. The next thing I do is I book my flight on a Tuesday or Wednesday because those days are the cheapest days to fly. And a lot of people who are flying for business won't be flying those days. They're most likely flying on a Monday morning, Friday evening, and on the weekend. So I avoid these days as much as possible unless I find a super awesome deal. The next trick for you to find really cheap flight is to use a VPN like NordVPN, ExpressVPN. And VPN basically allows you to change your location. For example, if you are flying to India, maybe add your location as being in India and in that whatever city and see how much the prices drop. But VPN is very helpful to drop the prices for your flights. My next trick to book flights is I only book one way. For me, it has always been cheaper. I book one way and then a return flight separately because it allows me to have more options. When you book a round trip, that means you have to return with the same airline and they don't give you option to check what other airlines have to offer. Honestly, I've been traveling full time, so I never book a return flight quasi never. But if you someone who has to return to where you are traveling from, I highly recommend to just test it out. Maybe use Kiwi to book a flight one way and then try to look for the reverse way. Use your VPN again and see if you can get better deals. And honestly, I've got so many good deals just by booking my flights separately. My next tip for you is to be really flexible. If you can be flexible, be flexible with your date destinations and airports if you are willing to maybe travel to a different airport if you can for example new york has three airports the price may be drastically different if you are going from laguardia or new york but it's still worth trying if it makes sense financially to book that flight another way to be flexible is with your date again on google flight you can see different days and the price can change drastically from one day to another. So be open to that. That will give you a lot more chances to get cheaper flights. Next tip for you is if you use credit card, definitely use a travel credit card because you can earn points, rewards, money back. This is a great way to save money. A lot of airlines have great credit cards and they give you a lot of points and a lot of cheap flights. For example, I'm using Southwest, you get a lot more deals. And if you book with their partners, like a rental cars, hotels, they give you a lot of points and reward. So check your credit cards because you might be gaining a lot of rewards and you don't even know about it. The other thing you want to do with airlines is to create an account and create a reward miles account. That way you can accumulate points and you can use these points, redeem them for flights. I've done this many times. So maybe stick to one or two airlines so that way you can accumulate points and in the end, you can use these points towards 
flights. Next tip for you I have is that a lot of local small airlines are not on Google. So do your research. For example, in Europe, I use EasyJet, Ryanair when the prices are ridiculous. You can get a flight from Morocco to Paris for $55. That's insane. There are tons of local airlines or small airlines that we don't know about and that pretty good and that offer really good deals. If you spend a little bit of time being diligent, you can find really great deals. So there you have it. These are my strategy. This is how I book flights. So it takes a little bit of time. You have to be diligent but you can find really good deal and save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars along the way. Drop your questions down below. Let me know what you think of this video and if you're using any of these tips, do not forget to subscribe, like and share and click that notification bell so you can be notified on my next video. I will see you next week. Kisses from Phoenix, Arizona. Bye-bye.